In this video, we're going to draw a pair of pliers. And again, just like before, we're going to keep the pliers next to us so that they're not moving around and they're in one spot so that I can see exactly how they look. Drawing the pliers is, uh, we're learning about proportions in drawing the pliers. So let's go ahead and do some quick measurements. If I line up my pencil with the top, I can see that the opening here is about this wide. And then if I go down to the bottom, the opening down here is twice that width. So I've compared that distance. Now in order to check up here, I'm going to look like this and say, okay, so the head of this tool is about this long. And then I'm going to come down here and put it approximately the same. So it's a little bit less than twice that length. So I know that when I draw this out, that's how I'm going to need to make it look when it's drawn out. Now this to me is a crisscross sort of tool. When I draw crisscross sorts of tools, I like to start by drawing the crisscross. So I'm just going to over a little bit so maybe you can see it. Now when you're looking at it from straight above your head, the camera is in a different angle than mine, so it will look slightly different in my drawing. But I did want you to be able to see what I was drawing, so hopefully you'll be able to get more information. So I'm going to start by drawing this curve and this curve. Again, there'll be things that we can adjust as we go, right? It doesn't need to be perfect from the get-go, but this is the way that I start a drawing like this so that it begins kind of looking like the tool without spending too much time working on details that I might have to erase at a later time because you know how that breaks my heart. So let's get this a little bit longer. Okay, so when I feel satisfied with the curves, which I do feel satisfied with the curves, then I can start to make it more three-dimensional. So I'm going to do that by drawing in this part right here. And I'm going to draw this flat plane right there. Okay. I know I don't have the details in because I don't want to have to erase them when I need to make changes, which I will need to make changes because I am a person. And then I'll draw that through like this. And then I'm drawing this flat plane. Just like that. All right, now it's time for a little bit of brief erasing to clean up some of my extra lines. Remember, I don't like you erasing all of the time. It wastes your time. You made all this effort to draw it. Let's not spend all this time erasing. All right, now it's time to start with adding in some of the details. So I'm going to look up at the top and begin up there. I'm going to draw this line that curves down. It's right here. And it will go down like this. And this one's going to go down like that too. That will come across. I am not doing the teeth right now. I will show you how to do the teeth in a minute. And then it has a line that goes straight out that will be attached to this changing the tool. Just making adjustments for the flat plane as it goes around. All right, now I'm gonna do the other side, same kind of thing. I can see this little shelfy bit here. And instead of actively measuring with my pencil, which you absolutely can do in the same way that you did the measuring before to try to get the proportions. You can do that all throughout your drawing, but I do it mentally, and I don't want this video to be 400 years long. So just trust that I'm doing that size comparison that I showed you how to do with my pencil. I'm doing that visually with my eyes as I draw. So I just compare the sizes, but I'm not going to keep stopping to do it with my pencil because then this video would be longer than we have time available for our lives on this earth. So here we go. Okay. 
Now, I have this kind of like fatty berm over here, and I'm going to be representing it with a line that I would later add value to. So this video won't show you value, it's just showing you dimension. So in the value video, I will show you how to add tones to it so that it will make it look really three-dimensional. But for now, that's not really the purpose of this particular video. So then to get the shape down here, and I will go like that. And then I'm going to come around and draw this little fat part on the side over here. And she needs to get a little skinnier over there, and I don't want to have to try to erase it next to the new line, so I'm just going to erase it now. You see how sometimes I draw lines bit by bit? It helps them to match up a little bit better for the way that I draw. You may be different because we're all different human beings. So you have to decide what's best for yourself and your drawing. Okay, so now I have that shape complete and this shape complete and then now I'm going to work on this side which goes in and over and over and then this is a little fat sticking out from it and then this is a little fat sticking out from it, just like that. Now I have this bit to add in over here, which has a little hole next to it. So I'm going to start by drawing the circle for that connector part. And then I need to draw a little hole kind of next to it. And it is three dimensional, so I'm gonna draw this down here. Right, and then I'm coming over here to draw that part. And I would show you how this part works so that you could understand a little bit better about what I'm drawing, but it is rusted shut, so I can't. So there we go, we have that part. Now I'm gonna zoom in on the top and show you how to do the teeth. So, all right, so now we're up at the top and I need to get the teeth in. So I have this part drawn in and then I'm going to go in for the teeth and in for the teeth. And then I will go over like this. And then they go in. They're like these little sloopies. Now all the teeth on the tools with teeth look a little bit different. So you have to look at the tool and see how the teeth look on the particular tool that you're drawing. Okay, so I've done it like that. Now that I have this stair step in, and let me do a little bit of light erasing so you can see it a little better. Okay, now that I have that stair step in, I can connect it on the other side, and this is, I think, the easiest way to get the teeth to look cool. Go to the top ridge and draw the line over. Go to the top ridge and draw the line over, like that. Now they're gonna be a little bit too long and I will need to adjust them, that's not a big deal. This should be parallel to the front, parallel to the front, parallel to the front, just like that, parallel to the front. And then I'm gonna get in here with my heavier duty eraser and clean up that back edge. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna leave that guy, and then this one is straight right there. Oh, I'm loving him, all right. This is lovely, I've got that in. There's a little plane here, so I'm just gonna make a little mark to make my adjustment. I feel like that goes in a little bit further. Don't keep working on this, Dorsey, you need to just move on. All right, so up here we have this already worked in. The teeth look different on this side. Why, I don't know why. Is it smaller, they just do. That's how life works. You think you got something sorted out and then the teeth look different. And that's just, that's just it, right? So I've done that little edge just like that. And then I'm going to do a little erasing. 
lighten it up, right? And then go down, go down, go down. Just like this. Okay, all right, now let's zoom out. Okay, and there you have it, a three-dimensional pair of pliers.